Oh, honey, can you stay out here for a second? Um, Bonnie. Yes. So this is what I need to do. I need to get an old episode that we did a long time ago, and I need to update the episode because new shit has come to light, and I will be doing this right now. The episode in question, in questioned, is episode 39, an episode we did a lifetime and a half ago, and the movie Disney slash Pixar slash Marvel slash Star Wars slash 20th Century Fox's own Inside Out. Yes. You don't just need me. Everybody in this fucking need everybody in this house as hell. Back in episode 39, we gave Inside Out a glowing review, as well as a pretty uh, amazing story that we dropped where we got to the bottom of why all Disney films are sad as hell. It's a good episode, and you should yes. definitely go check out that episode and re-listen to it, because it's good. It's damn good. But that was episode 39. Yes. Yes, Amber. You can interrupt my podcast to ask if Jaden's coming over. That's rude. You should come over here and help me with this. So that was. Yeah, that's inside out. Everyone in the house needs to say she's shaking her head. And no, you 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 don't count. Yeah, Amber says Joy is awful. That was episode thirty nine. That was one hundred and fourteen episodes ago, and our show has changed. It's matured. So I would now like to update episode thirty nine. So, Inside Out. Okay. Uh, okay. Fuck this movie. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like this movie anymore. You, you loved it when it came out. So what happened? Uh, our, our, youngest, our youngest daughter has been watching it repeatedly over and over again, sometimes three or four times in a day. Sometimes three um, or four times, literally, in a day. So we have all got a chance to really get to know this film uh like intimately we're and we're metaing the film I, I know i know the inside out inside out of riley's brain we know the inside down. outs of inside out yeah uh-huh. and, and i, I know little out. things little things like uh the rails of headquarters yeah on DNA strands. oh okay like, DNA strands and the memories uh, in long-term memory, they are all folded like brains. Uh-huh. You look at it, if you look at it from uh, any of the shots from headquarters when they're looking down at long-term memory, it looks like brain bolts. Oh, yeah. 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 It, um, it's all curled around Yeah, the way a brain looks. Uh, and also, fuck Joy. She's a cunt. She's, okay. she, she's, oh. she's controlling... The only reason that anything, all the bad things happen in the movie is because a core memory shows up that is not Joy's, and she cannot allow that to happen because she has to be in charge. Yeah, she yes. has to be in control of everybody and everything at all times, and Riley can be nothing but happy. I mean, it's okay if disgust saves her life because she doesn't need broccoli. It's okay if fear stops her from tripping over a cord, and it's okay if anger makes her mad because. No dessert, but heaven forbid she cry. Yeah, heaven forbid she gets sad. Oh my god, she has it out for sadness. And if Joy would have just let that core memory do its thing, we'd have been fine. Everything would have been fine. Yeah, Riley would have been fine. Riley wouldn't have had to go through these bouts of depression. She felt nothing. She would have been completely angry, <laughs> burning bridges, or in this case, letting them crumble. Yeah, and and also something we noticed after repeat viewings is that um, I, she's I, been in this new I, I in this new been. house in this new neighborhood in this new city in this new state in this new part of the of United the States. of the United States for less than twenty four hours, and her parents are forcing her to go to school. Yeah, she goes to school the very next day, and not only that, she walks to school. She, no one, like, no one drives her. I mean, I like in San Francisco. In, in was, San Francisco, yeah, in San Francisco, she just walk into school by herself, eleven years old, first day do there, that. not even in San Francisco, twenty four hours, and just go ahead, Riley, walk yourself to school all alone. <laughs> Did you have fun? Did you have fun walking to school, honey? Oh yeah, a homeless person threw his jizz on me. I walked past <laughs> an alleyway that smelled like piss, human piss. I mean, like, that's just, I have nothing against San Francisco. I love the place. But are you going to let your 11-year-old walk to school by themselves when they've only been there less than 24 hours? No, yes. you're not. Because that's bad parenting. 
right there. And I mean, considering the bomb, the person who's in control mainly is depression. Yeah. And the person mainly for the dad is anger. I can see that. I can see them being like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. We're busy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> putting, putting the cup, the cookie jar on top of the refrigerator. So bye Riley. Um, okay. The dad and mom fight. A yeah. Lot. Yeah. Oh, uh, when, when Riley's trying to, and Riley feels like it's her place to stop that. Uh-huh. Um, fighting about yep. the moving van. Yeah. He says the moving van was supposed to be here today, not Thursday. And they're coming Thursday now. And then when And then the mom makes, and then the mom goes did, did you even read the contract? Like they're fighting yeah. about this. The mom blames the dad because the moving van isn't there, but it's not the dad's fault that the moving van sucks. But here's what I think happened. Hmm. Now this is where I'm getting meta. Uh, I think he had that confused with his business meeting because they're playing hockey and, you know, pretend hockey in the living room and his phone rings. And he was like, I got to go. The investors were supposed to show up on Thursday, not today. Oh. So I'm thinking he, he fucked it up on accident because, you know, yeah. moving across country is not easy. Yeah. And speaking of a uh, joy, uh, it, uh, Riley messes up on accident and starts crying in school. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, while she's talking to the class and the the reason why that happens is because she messes up she, she starts talking as if she still lives in minnesota oh i'm on a great team we're called the prairie dogs we're gonna we have a chance of making it to the champion to to state make it make it to regionals or whatever yeah and the reason why it, that's basically the reason why all of these things happen is because she cries in school. And why does she cry in school? Because she has hockey in her head. She's thinking about nothing but uh, her time playing hockey in Minnesota. And why is she doing that? Because Joy broke the rules. Uh-huh. The night before, she the really- night before, she is getting a dream. And uh, Joy does not like the dream. And she says, I know I shouldn't do this. But she turns off the dream and puts on a memory. So for the rest of her night, all Riley is dreaming of, dreaming of is memories of her playing hockey, which Joy says is against the rules. The reason why it's against the rules is because the next day, Riley fucks up and is crying in school. And it's all Joy's fault. <laughs> It's all Joy's fault because she's a bitch. You know what? And how oblivious are you? It's like, oh, after all, Riley's 11. What could happen? And then suddenly you're moving and every motion in her head is like, oh, oh my God, we didn't know this was going to happen, bitch. You're 11. Your parents aren't going to move across country without talking to you about this. Yeah. You all knew. Yeah. All of the emotions act like they have no idea that Riley is moving. She just what? wasn't. Cross. Yeah. Like this is Riley's journey through depression and it's yes. terrible. Yeah. And Joy's a cunt. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's so mean to sadness, and they can read. They can read. They, they can, can read. all read. They oh, can Bing all Bong read. Bing Bong may not be able to, but Joy can read because she's like, oh, and she reads the title of the book, Long Term Memory, Volume Sixty Four. This sounds like fun or exciting or whatever. And hands it yeah. over, and sadness reads it. Sadness reads all of those books. So when Bing Bong is like D A N G E R, I don't know what that means. Let's go on in here. It's like. Okay, Joy and Sadness yeah. both know that says danger. Yeah. Yeah, but they still but go they still in. Do it because Joy is like, oh, we got to get back up to headquarters. I'm going to follow Bing Bong. He's parked dolphin. They're very smart. Like, <laughs> yeah, they know it says danger. They know it says danger. They can all read. No. They know it means and, okay, that. And, and when Bing Bong, she was like, I know you, Bing Bong. And then they, like, he's like, you guys are from headquarters. What are you doing down here? You need to be up at headquarters so Riley can be happy. And Joy is like, you're right. It's a long story. Care to tell him sadness? Like it's, it's fucking like, bitch, sadness. It's not sadness is fault. fault. Yeah, it's, it's like, Joy's if fault. If you wouldn't have flipped the fuck out because oh my god, there was a sad core memory, then this shit wouldn't have happened in the first place. Don't yeah. go blaming sadness like it's her fault. If you weren't some goddamn control and you needed to pull that memory out, it, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got feelings. About I have to watch we all do. Movie. We all do. We've seen. We've, we've all seen it so much. Philosophical debates in this house about the same films. So yeah, we have. We're breaking it down hard. And us have sat there and watched this film so many times, and we're just like, okay, but seriously, if they would have just done this, 
I mean, I, okay, I get it's a kid's film and we shouldn't be like tearing it apart because yeah. it's a kid's film. But on the other hand, why are they sneaking around like spies? They're from headquarters. They're like in charge. They're like the freaking bosses, the CEOs. The only person you asked to help, you asked for help is an imaginary character. Why didn't you go to any other person there oh, and say, hey, I'm from headquarters. They're like the most important people and no one knows who they are. Like they have to tell people for them to actually know because who they are. Because they've never been out of headquarters. But that's the thing. That's it's like so it's, if you, if you just said, hey, I'm from headquarters, I need to get back there, somebody's liable to help you. Yeah. Like, bing bong, when they woke Riley up, when they're like, oh, she, they're trying to wake Riley up, and they're pulling bing bong away, he's like, I know people in headquarters! Like, he's the only person that mentions that. Yeah. And he's an imaginary. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? And why didn't you, at the very beginning, when you're talking to the people who are doing the memory dump, and they're like, huh, this will never get old, and it's the gum commercial, sending it up the chute. Let's send it up to recall, the recall tube. Yeah. Why didn't you just send the core up the recall tube? That way they could, all the three up there could have grabbed them, put them yeah. back so that those islands wouldn't disappear and then <gasps> make your way back to headquarters. Yeah. Yeah. They easily could have put they those easily could have just core memories back. Put the core memories in the recall tube and then anger and, gr- and grossness, huh? anger and, and what is her name? Uh, Disgust. Yes. And, and fear could have been like, oh, that's a, that's a core memory. Let me grab it. Grab it and put it in the thing. Yeah. So, why didn't they do that? You know why? She was a bitch. She was a fucking cunt. <laughs> she didn't want to let him go. Yeah. She was so in charge of those, oh, these are my memories. They're all happy. Not to brag or anything, but they're mostly happy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> bitch, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> no. Me, yeah. Now let me talk about my crazy inside out theory no, about no, Joy's sexual awakening. Joy, okay. Right? Right. Super uncomfortable because like she's 11. Dude. Dude, stop talking about Canadian boys. I'm, 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 I'm Canadian. Canadian. Okay. No, that's oh, well. Canada. I'm just I'm just saying that uh, Joy okay, this left the imaginary boyfriend machine on producing like Nine 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 amount of boyfriends and left it on. So eventually, Riley's going to be like, "Oh, I've got, I've, I, I'm, I feel so much better. I feel like I can finally feel emotions. Also, I really feel like making out with eight million Canadian guys. <laughs> I don't know why, but suddenly." Uh, getting it on with eight thousand Canadian guys is is suddenly on my mind. Huh? That's odd. Wonder why that is. Anyway, we hate this movie now. That's what I'm trying to say. We hate this movie. Also, hate this movie so also, what upsets me? Another thing that really upsets me about Inside Out is that you see three dreams being made. It, 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 you see three dreams that come from a uh, dream headquarters oh. from the dream dream studios. Yeah. And uh, one of them is just a bunch of uh, uh, cute animals and uh, m- magic unicorn <laughs> dancing in a beautiful field. The other two are dreams that are 100% exactly what happened to Riley that day. Yeah. Okay. So, Am I to I'm, I'm, ha- I'm having that- to reach back here a little, but yeah. I know, I know. But am I to believe that like 80% of my dreams are just what happened to me that day? Yes, like, yes like, they are. No. Oh, so like, so I'm, my dream is going to, tonight is going to be a nightmare about doing the podcast. Yes. Ooh, you've <laughs> got to pick up Amber from school. <laughs> Like, like, no, that's not how dreams work, Disney Pixar. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we've watched this movie, literally, it, within the last year, we've watched this film, like... Too many times, it sounds like. So many times, so many times, so many times. So many... It, we've watched... It, it, Eleanor has watched the film so much. That she literally calls out some of the lines at the exact moment that they happen. Yeah? Yeah, the specific moment that I'm thinking of is that... Uh, um, yeah, yeah, Maxwell. The, 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 the mom is coming in and Anger says, the, 
the mom bad news train is on its way. Toot toot. And then uh, the mom says some bad news. Well, it looks like the moving van won't be here until Thursday now. And then anger says toot toot again. And, and numerous times, Eleanor has said toot toot exactly when he does. Really? Yeah, she says it perfectly. She knows exactly when that second toot toot is coming. Is, also, is, she's is, is any of this healthy? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but at least she's going like, to, at least she knows emotions. You know, I try to think of the positive. She knows that uh, sadness is healthy and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. she, she also knows that um, clowns and broccoli are, are scary. Also, you're 11 going on 12. Are you really still scared of broccoli in your grandmother's vacuum cleaner? Seems a bit silly. <laughs> Seems a bit silly. Yeah. Uh, there's so much that, that, that we hate about this film. It's amazing. But let me tell you about my psychic ability. Okay. I got, I got a present, a really nice present. Um, uh, two Christmases ago, right before, like a month before Christmas, two years ago, I got a, a really nice expensive present for someone. And then I lost the present. So I wasn't able to give it to anyone for Christmas. And and I lost it for a long time. It wasn't until the beginning of this year that I found the present again. And I'm like, damn it, I found that present that I lost right before last Christmas. Except now it's right after Christmas. So I can't really give it to anyone. And, and also, it, we're so far removed from this. Who would want this present? And we're, we're and Natasha and I are having this long conversation it's like i don't know maybe bella no bella's too old maybe maxwell uh maxwell has seen this but he's not really 100 percent into it i don't know and then what i said was and again this is proof positive of my psychic ability i said you know, you know what i guess we'll hold on to it until next christmas maybe a year from now someone in our house will be really into inside out that we can give this to yeah and then and i and and then I hid the present again, and then I just went, oh, my God, honey, remember that present from two years ago? I'm psychic! <laughs> because now, this Christmas, Eleanor is going to shit herself with yes. excitement. When she sees this amazing Inside Out gift that I got for someone else way before she was born. Uh-huh. She's going to... <laughs> Yes, Maxwell, thank you for making a uh, poop sound effect. That really, that helped with the podcast a lot. So this movie, so, this movie is already older than your child? I believe so, yes. That's, that's a little scary. Yeah. 